in from Mexico. So you've got an incredible opportunity to learn from one of the masters. He literally has written more books on NLP than anyone else on the planet. That says a lot about his expertise and his knowledge and what he knows and what you're going to be able to glean from this. Now he's taken the expertise he has with also a cognitive behavioral background and he's now put that to the work of humanistic psychology and Abraham Maslow and learning how to get to this higher level of self-actualization. So would you all help us to welcome your incredible speaker. This is on self-actualization. And that means you being everything you can be, the best version of you. Self-actualization, by definition, means that we're going to develop all the capacities, the skills, the potentials, so that your mental capacities and potentials, your emotional, your emotional potentials to connect, to care, to feel, to believe, to relate, your verbal linguistic potentials of all the use of language by which you can do so many things, your behavioral uh, potentials, your relationship potentials, becoming everything we can become because when we can do that, then we'll have some peak experiences. Peak experiences. Maslow talked about that as being those special moments where you have that sense, life is good. It's good to be me. It's good to be in my skin. It's good to, f to breathe, to feel the sunshine, to, to see another person, their eyes. A peak experience. A peak experience is what we were born for. Little children have them all the time. Most of us had them beat out of us. To where we think we have to go somewhere, do something, in order to let something count. In order... To, to validate that experience is, is its own value, the being values. And when we can be fully present, because the big danger in our culture is multitasking, <laughs> otherwise known as ADD. <laughs> <laughs> and then we take pride in it. But being fully present, because when you're fully present with whatever you're doing, whether it's just reading a book, or being present to another human being, or, or taking a when you're fully present, then you have access to all your resources. And it takes us out of the instrumental f orientation of life. Instrumental meaning I need to do, achieve, accomplish, and you can just be. And the paradox is that being fully present to whatever, you'll achieve so much more. It's one of the paradoxes of self-actualization. And by doing that, then we'll have those peak performances. Because what's involved in a, if we're going to model and unpack a, a peak performance, is being fully present. So, so the design is self-actualization. The design is is finding, developing, being, being true to yourself. And we've got a lot of leashes that are around us holding us back and different harnesses that prevent us there because many of us have been taught to measure me against you. I'm not as smart as, I'm not as pretty as, I don't have as much money, I don't have, and we may, so I'm not okay with me because I don't measure up to you. Conformity is one of the real dangers of self-actualization. And we live in a, in a society where th just the in, in culturalization process makes us think that there's some model that I need to live up to. And the truth in self-actualization psychology is that the only person to be true to is you. Your values, your beliefs, your experience, what you have to contribute. And when you do that, when you're true to you and, and, and release all the prohibitions and taboos that, prev that wants to keep you in a mold of some sort, that this is the way to be successful, this is the way to, to have love and joy and peace in your life, when you release that and you find your way, you'll have so much to contribute. So part of self-actualization is not only you being everything you can be, but you contributing everything you can contribute. 
Because there is a part of us that likes to feel like I'm contributing. I'm making a difference. And the gifts, the skills that I can develop, find, develop, and cultivate uh, as I contribute them to the welfare, not only myself, but my family, my larger group, and to the world, we, we have a sense of we can make a difference. Maslow envisioned, he envisioned self-actualizing companies and businesses. He visualized self-actualizing uh, groups of people and cultures. And so self-actualization isn't just me looking at my navel all the time and wanting to, to have success in the traditional cultural way, but actually finding out what is this human experience we're all involved in and how can I be at my best, experience everything I can experience, feel everything I can feel, think and imagine all the things I can imagine and give and contribute all that I can give. And then we can say that my life is a life well lived because I've been true to myself.